Hello, you're watching World Without Rule Law. Welcome to the Southern Virginia Homestead. Another beautiful day. Saturday afternoon, March 6th. So, I don't know if you could see right there the orange string. I kind of got the layout for where the shed's going to go. I'm a little big, I'm a little wide, and a little long. The posts are going to be on the inside. I have to, I just got my level height. And this is a level that works all the way around. I'm, my high corner is there, I'm four inches, which is one four inch block. I'm actually center where the door is. I use that metal sheet just for, try to get a rough square. Right where center where the door is, I'm about 16 inches, which works about perfect for one step. Now, Tomorrow, or Monday, I'm going to attempt to square it and dial in. I went wide on my squares. This front line is where I want it. But I have to get a framing square or a big T-square or something and try to square the sides in. I went out. I was just checking my level. The next step is the square. Of course, I'm not a builder. I'm just a ham and agger, so I'm doing it common sense best I can. I'm sure there's a quicker, better, shorter way to do it. I don't know if anybody really knows this, the answer to this question. What I want to do is I want to cut. This telephone pole had a light on it. It's been done away with a long time ago. It's pretty solid at the base. I want to cut this and I want to set the corner of the shed on this telephone pole because I want to cover that rocky mess. And I didn't want to leave the pole. I was going to put it in a few feet to shed. I don't want the nub of the pole. I could cut it down, cover it with dirt. But I'm thinking, you know, the thing's pretty solid. More solid than a cement block on the grass would be. Why don't I just use that to put the front corner of the shed on? I don't know. Is that stupid? Anybody know the answer to that? feel free to chime in but that's it well, today was a couple trips to Lowe's trip to the dump still unpacking like I said we were gone for 15 months came back Wednesday noon yesterday we went around my wife and I and we picked up all branches and down trees and stuff from the wind so I didn't really work on this project yesterday but the shed is coming at some point Hopefully sooner than later. So I want to get back on this. I don't necessarily have to square. I don't think I could set the blocks anyway. Because I'm not sure how he comes in with the mule. To drop the shed off. So I've seen videos. I watch videos on it. I've seen guys set all the blocks. Just to have him move them. Because. He couldn't drive over that area. With the mule. So I don't want to. Of course, if I get them leveled and get them set and we have to move them, at least the sights will be all set for them to go back in. But I know there's runners. They run lengthwise. I know they're in the corners. I'm not sure how far in the two middle runners are. I don't believe they're equidistant. I believe the span in the middle is a little wider than the spans on the ends. And I could try to get in touch with the company and figure that out. But I don't think I'm going to get that far. I think what I'm going to do, once I square it off, I'm going to set these six. The pole being one, I'm going to set the other five in this line. And I'm going to let the shed guy just finish it off when he comes. Of course, I'll be here to help him with any shovel work or whatever. I'm going to try to rake this out as level as I can get it. And then I'll be ready for him. That's my plan. Again... The front point being on that pole, kind of like to know your thoughts. If he gets here and he says, no, I absolutely can't do that, which I don't see why he would, I'll just move it off and put the first pole there, which will just move it, move that end of it a foot over. I'm still going to use this line as my square line. So it's not too crucial, I guess, one way or another. I got to get a pair of channel locks 
and try to undo this automatic dead end or this guy wire. I tried to pull it off of my fingers. I could separate it a little, but it's been on there for decades. I'm hoping a pair of channel locks can break it free, unwind that, pull my guy wire out, mark that, and cut it. It'll be kind of, kind of crucial to cut it level. Not really though. I'm gonna. I got two by eights, so as long as they're level, I'm gonna run a. I'm going to run 2 by 8 here and one on this side. And I'm going to run two carriage bolts through it. And then put a 2 by 8 cap on top. And that'll be my block. I'd like to get that as level as I can. But I can level it when I put the bolts on. And really the bolts will be carrying the weight, not the top. So I think that'll be okay. Yeah, back to work. Another day. It's good to be home. There's a lot to do. Thanks for watching. God bless you.